So you just got your brand new Unraid server built, the array is started, the parity check, which takes who knows how long, is finally complete, and you're ready to, uh, to start transferring some data to it. It's about time. But there's one thing that you're going to want to fix before you put this thing online, and especially before you let other people know that it's available on your network. I'm not really sure why this is in the default configurations for Unraid, since it seems like they've thought of almost everything and made this process almost <laughs> perfect. You don't really need any computer knowledge to build one of these systems and to build a network attached storage device like this instead of buying one. So this is definitely something that Unraid should be thinking of, but the good news is that it's super easy to fix. It's a super simple process. So let's jump into the computer here and I'll show you what we're talking about. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is open up our simple web browser and type in our IP address. I'm sure you guys know by now that this is how you access the web interface, but just in case, web browser, IP address. Once we get into here, you'll see that we always boot into this main page for our Unraid system. Now, the thing that we're trying to fix here is that our systems configuration files, you know, everything that's stored on that flash drive to boot up the system properly, is actually accessible to anybody on the network. I'm not sure, like I said before, why it's kind of set up this way by default. They even actually put a little exclamation mark here telling you that your flash drive is set to public and you should change it. Why did they don't just make it private from the start? I'm not too sure, but I mean, at least they give you the little exclamation mark and explanation. So to fix this, it's actually really simple. But before we do, let me show you what I mean by anybody being able to have access to this. So as you know, you can set a password and login information to this Unraid, you know, web interface, but that's not going to stop anybody from accessing the system configuration files. What they can do if we open up a finder window here or file explorer, I should say this isn't a Mac um, is they can type in the IP address to your server, just like you did in the web interface. So let's type that in. You can see that it pops up here again. And boom, these are all the shares that are public on our Unraid server. And as you can see, our flash drive is right here. And in we are. We can start deleting, changing names, changing files, and who knows what this is gonna do to the server itself, the data that's on it. I don't know personally what messing with any of these files will do and I have a lot of information on my server that I really don't want to lose so unfortunately I'm not going to mess with it at this point but if you're interested maybe we can build another one to mess with things and see what happens. Now to fix this it's actually really simple. We'll jump back into our web interface here and all we need to do is click on this flash drive. And you'll want to pay attention to this area here, the SMB security settings. As you can see, the export is set to yes. And what this means is that this is going to get pushed out to the network and be visible to you know anybody that types in that IP address. So what we want to do is simply change this to no, apply, and this public, the actual security settings, I'll get into in a later video, but for this instance, you don't really have to worry about that now. Click done. And now if we go back to this finder window here, we can go back and you'll notice that the flash is gone. So now no one has access to that file folder anymore. And to go one step further, we can actually even try to type that in by ourselves here. And if you'll see, it doesn't show up. It's no longer being exported. No one can touch any of your system configuration files anymore. And the risk of your whole entire server being blown up and going into small little pieces and you losing all of your data, that probably won't happen, but um, is gone. So we can continue to do this for any other shares that you maybe don't want to have um, you know, public as well. So for example, I am going to take off the system one, the app data and the domains because 
well, those don't need to be exported at all either. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Stay tuned to the channel for more videos on Unraid as well as other technology sort of things. I do have air tags coming, uh, I believe, in a day or two. So I will be doing an unboxing and setup and kind of in-depth review of those as well, as well as an in-depth review of my M1 MacBook Pro and how I'm liking that as well. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week, and let 2021 just uh, be better than 2020.